All right, we're gonna learn a, a escape from the reverse de la Riva, uh, but but now the opponent will be with the opposite leg in between your legs. So this happens a lot, like when your opponent tries to go for a knee cut, and then he long step to the other side, and then he's gonna be on this situation here, okay? There's two ways for him to control you. There's one is like grabbing the head like this, okay? And the other one is when his arm is on this side. So first you're gonna learn when his arm is on this side, okay? Uh, a lot of times I see like people when they get here, they try to face to the opponent and they try to escape the hips outside like this. You know, and you try to push the opponent. And you think this is the best way for you uh, to escape from this situation, but sometimes uh, when, you, when you fight someone with a really good back take, they will end up like jump to your back. There's different ways for Jonathan to take my back here. Okay, so he can kind of like do, for, uh, do a scramble here too. Like he can put his back on the floor, start putting the shin behind and then start jumping to my back. Okay, and this happened because I face towards him. Okay, uh, also he can put this hand in the other side here and then start jumping to the knee cut to the other side like this. And then you end up in a really bad position. Okay. Or I see like sometimes people, they turtle here. They start like doing this and then the opponent take the back. Okay, so you gotta be careful with all these movements because this can allow the opponent to take her back. So what I do here, I need to be careful with the knee bar, okay? Uh, if I change the hook like this, I keep the leg between the legs uh, free so it's easy for Jones to attack the knee bar on me. Okay, so I need to protect uh, my leg. So especially if I'm a brown belt and, and black belt. So, I always go with the outside leg over like this. Okay, so now what I want to do is to face to the opposite side and I'll push right here, right under his triceps and uh, the armpit so I can grab his, uh, his uh, cloth right here, the kimono, right here, right behind his armpit. So now what I'm going to do is squeezing my knees together, putting my foot on the floor, like driving my, foot, my knee towards the mat. And at the same time, I'll tilt my, my hips. So I go like this, look. And notice that I put a lot of pressure on Jonathan's uh, hips. Okay, so try to put your hips back on the floor, Jonathan. So it's really hard for him to move like that way. Okay, in the meantime here, I'm gonna be careful with my opponent to attack the knee bar. Okay, so he can pose the hand like this. Sometimes he pulls the elbow like this, okay? But I'm always gonna have this space here, okay? So what I want to do right now, I want to put the hook inside. So I want to change the hook like this. Okay, and once I put the hook like this, it's really hard for him to attack the knee bar on me. Okay, and I'll show you like, if he, in case he attacked the knee bar, afterwards uh, I'll show you uh, what to do, okay? But right now, like I'll put this hook here. Okay, as soon as I put the hook, I'll keep pushing that way and I'll stretch the hook to this side, make my opponent land between my legs. So now I got the hook here. Once I get the hook here, what I, gotta, what I like to do is to grab his, his collar and underhook his arm here. And I can actually like go for a shoulder trap like this. Okay, now it's easy for me to start attacking his back. I'll turn, I'll turn, scoop my knee under, and then I start attacking his back. So put in the second hook, and I'm on his back, okay? So again, so Jones to try to pass, he's gonna get a long step, he pulls it in here. So instead of facing towards him, I go to the other side. So I got a trap right below his knee. It's really hard for me to trap his thigh, okay? I cannot trap like close to his foot as well. So I need to, to trap really close to the knee, okay? So once I'm here, look, I'll tilt my leg. Look, I'll, I'll do it slow, okay, first. So I'll tilt and push, okay? So once I got here, okay, I can grab like this uh, part of his gear right on the sleeve, okay? And right away, look, I'll change the hook like this. See? Change the hook. Once I change the hook, I'll keep kick him that way, like this. Once he lands between my legs, I'll get the hook. And then I, I grab his collar, bring his shoulder towards my chest, and I get the shoulder trap here. Okay, this hand facing towards me, the other hand facing like this. Okay? So once I'm here, it's really hard for me to, to attack his back from here. So I need to get my bottom leg under my, my top leg and I'll turn him. I'll turn. Once I turn, I scoop my knee under him and then drag him to the other side. Once I drag him to the other side, I get the seat belt and I get the second hook, okay? So I'm doing really slow after I'll show you how, how the position works during the fight, okay? 
So now on the side, you know, to try to pass. He got a long step, and then he got right here. Trap, turn, change the hook, kick. Sometimes I'm going to land between your legs. And if you land between your legs, okay, it's so easy for you to go straight to the, to the back, okay? But sometimes it seems to be a little bit over your belly like this. So it zips up between your legs, okay? So you get the shoulder trap, and then you turtle. You can get like, kind of like a twister here. And then you go with your knee underneath of him, drag it to the other side, and then get the seat belt, okay? So, so here, so it goes for a knee cut, he long step, he got right here, I trap. Now if I do fast, it's gonna be like this. I push him, and I drag my foot to the floor. And right away, look, I change my hook, kick him, and I start attacking his neck, okay? This side he jumps. So I'm here, so if I just do this, it's pretty much good for him, okay? So you change, look, see? Get out of it. So I lock my leg like this. I put this part of my foot on the floor. And then look, I, I tilt like this. And now it's just changing the hook. Okay. So he's here. I go like this. One, two. Okay. But now, like sometimes when you're doing this, okay, you go down. When you're doing this, in the meantime, okay, you need to keep the figure four, okay? Especially for the first, the first leverage that you're doing like this. You're like a foam roll under his hips. So in the meantime, you're changing. Let's say he might put an attack the knee bar on me. So the importance here, when you attack the knee bar, if it falls to this side and go for the knee bar, I have a high percentage to escape here because my, my bottom leg is, is free. So I open his knee, I pull his knee towards me here, try to close her knees, just, I open his knee, look. Don't let his knee be like this, so he can be really strong. So grab, grab his inner thigh, pull, okay, try to close, just. So his, his inner thigh is touching my belly right now. Okay, my rib, all right? So now easily I can turn and tilt my toes up, and I'll bring my elbow to the floor, and now my knee to the floor. And I'll be on this position here. And pretty much when you get here, he's gonna try to put on 50-50. Like, a lot of times that happens. But, the good thing is I already get the two points, right? And then John will show, in the next video, he's gonna show escape from 50-50. There's different ways for you to escape, but what I like to do, as soon as he start going for 50-50, I like to underhook this leg, and then I start stacking him like this, and I can step over, right? Again. So I cannot let my opponent when I'm here, in case like he goes for the knee bar, look, if I face to him, go for the knee bar jump. This is bad for me. It's really hard to escape, okay? I can escape, but it's really, really dangerous, all right? So if I, can... so if I, if I lock my legs, so he cannot go for the knee bar, I try to attack the knee bar, so he can't, right? So I take advantage of his weight on me, I'll push him that way. And just in case, in the transition of my hooks, Okay, if you attack the knee bar right here, attack the knee bar Jones. Try to fall to the other side Jones. Don't let him fall to that side. Don't let him fall this way. Okay, if he falls this way, he can su succeed on the, on the knee bar, okay? So when he tries to fall that way, so you keep pushing this way. And now look, you grab the inner thigh, pull towards you, to turn your toes, lift your knees up, like towards the mat. And then right here, I bet with you, your opponent will try to go for the 50-50 for the here. Okay, and then you don't wait. Don't let him open your lapel or anything. Like, just grab it, see grip on his, uh, right under his ankle right here, and then start stacking right away. Okay, so you open his legs. Once you open the legs, you can step over and start passing the door. Okay. But there's a solution too. If, in case like he goes for the knee bar here, go for the knee bar joints, right here. Okay, turn around. So if, you, if somebody attacks the knee bar on you like this, first thing you gotta do is to grab the thigh and open his thigh like this. And at the same time, you torque your knee this way. Okay, you see that I changed my head, my head was this side, I moved my head this way. Okay, so now look, no longer the knee bar is working on me. Plus, he's ripping the knee here, so he needs to undo this. 
Because if you keep doing this in the gi fight, IBJJF rules, this is a ripping. Okay, of course, if there's no gi, we gotta think differently. But now we're working with the gi and we, we like to emphasize uh, the IBJJF rules, right? So this is ripping. So if you keep locking here and I come on top like this, it's, it's gonna be, he's gonna be the cue. So right away, he needs, to, he needs to open this, open this one, like this. Okay, so I go on top and, and start working for you. Maybe you change for 50-50. So again, so if I attack the knee bar on this side here, you open and turn. You see that I change the side of my, my, my hips. Okay, get out, Jones. So, when he's attacked the knee bar here, you see that my right side's on the floor. I open his knee and I change. I put my left side on the floor like this. Okay, so I, I turn my knee to the other side. And if you watch the black belt fights, like that's pretty much like most of the time that how they escape when they escape uh, with success uh, from this position, okay? So again, so if I'm here, Jones attack the knee bar here, right away I gotta change. I gotta face this way, you see? Face the camera, Jones. So look, he goes, look. when he goes, look. I already changed, okay? That's, that's right away. Oh, if you change for a heel hook, change for a heel hook, of course, with the gi, you cannot do the heel hook, okay, most of the tournaments, right? But in the no gi, that can happen, right? Then we're gonna learn like more escapes. But usually like when you hear and then you start like turning this way here, you start like putting on 50 feet or something like that. So you grab his, his leg and start pushing against him. Okay, and then you can escape the same way. So last one, so you got right here. Notice that the transition of my hook, okay, look. I will push Jonathan's like this, and I'll make this transition here, like under, see, his ankle. And I start pushing him. So if Jonathan's go for the knee bar here, go for the knee bar, Jonathan's like here, like try to fall that way, at the other side. And it's really hard, I keep controlling him, okay? In the meantime, I can push him like between my legs, but if he's controlling my leg really hard, go Jonathan's. Like I just keep pushing this way, and then I come up here, so that's two points for me, okay? And I know like if it doesn't put on 50-50, then I start sinking my knee to the floor, and then I start like smashing him here, trying to choke him like that, making him feel uncomfortable, okay? Oh, professor, what about if my opponent figure for the leg, figure for a leg just? Like he figure for the leg, right? And when he figure for the leg, it's so hard for me to make the hook. But check, that, check out what I do. So I'm here, I still not facing him, I'm still doing the same thing. Like this, try to keep the figure four jumps right here, okay? So now what I do, I start like pushing him. So I try to grab more close to his, to his uh, wrist right here. And I start pushing him forward. So I force him to put both hands on the floor, okay? So keep controlling my legs here, Jones. If you keep controlling my legs, I underhook the leg. I just push him, look. And then I end up on top on a really nice smash, okay? And I keep my figure four all the time. Okay, I cannot make the hook because the figure four that he's using, right? So it's really hard. If he pulls both hands on the floor, like this, I still move in this way. Now, because the hands is not, no longer uh, grabbing my leg, I can easily like undo the figure four. You see, like really quick. And then I come up on top and now I start attacking his back, okay? So the goal of this technique is always drag your opponent to the, to the opposite side, not to the side that he is. Because a lot of times I see people in his ear, I see like they're pushing this way, this way, this way, but his weight is already there. So I'll push him to the, to the empty spot, okay? So right here, okay? If I cannot do the figure four, no problem, okay? I keep pushing him here, right? No problem. His both hands are on the floor. I can easily like put my hand on the floor and then come up like this and start attacking. So I use this all the time and it works really well. So hopefully all these details uh, help you when you are in that situation. Let's work. One, two, three. So now we're going to work when uh, the opponent is doing the uh, reverse half guard, okay? Or inverted half guard. But this is like inside, right? And then he hugged my head, okay? So he's right here. So when he hugged the head, like, also, if I keep turning towards him, I can help him, like, to bring the leg out. And then he can start going to bounce right here. Okay, so don't let your opponent like turn your 
this knee, especially to with this knee on the floor. Because that way, like, you can have a lot of options to pass your guard, okay? So if you try to escape the hips, try to escape, I keep, like, facing and forcing, using my foot on the floor to bring his leg this way, okay, his hips this way. So I control him right here, okay, with my four fingers inside, behind his neck, right inside his collar here. Okay, and this is easy to get right here, okay? Now what I do, I, I will bring my knees to my chest, and I'll underhook his leg here, right between my body and his, his leg, okay? And my goal is to go with my hand through and then grab his collar, so that's how it looks. So I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest, and I'll find a space to grab here, okay? So you see that I grab his collar here with this hand? That's really important, okay? So I keep like locked, and I keep here. So I grab, once I grab, I have my grips, I'm safe, okay? So now it's really hard for him to put this leg down because my arm is under. Put your foot on the floor, Jones. It's really hard, okay? So I have the trap here. So it's really easy for me to set up the hook, look. I put the hook, but I keep the pressure down here. So I have a really strong hook. So I put all the weight off his leg over my hook, okay? Now, uh, you're gonna start like going for the sweep, right? So you're just gonna take the leg that's on top of him, like the leg that's between his legs out, turn towards him, and keep your knee to your chest, okay? A lot of people when they get here, they go like this, and they try to come up, and they got the triangle, so they'll point to attack the triangle here. Okay, so that's not good, right? So, when you're coming up, when you're coming up right here, make sure you bring your knee to your chest, like this, okay? So, and then you, when you get on top, you're smashing on this side, okay? You can go over his leg too, like this, you know? So you can go here. But of course, I'm doing slow here. Uh, you just gotta understand that when you come up, you, you're in danger to get a triangle, okay? Just be careful. So once I get here, now look, I let go of the collar, I hug his head, and now I can start going straight to mount. And I like to mount with this knee, uh, with this arm in between my legs. Because right now, like the side that I have the arm inside, is the side that I advance my knee close to his head. And I kind of like do the S mount, so I can start attacking a really good uh, triangle here. So I figure for my leg, change the knee, see? And they can start attacking the triangle here, okay? One more time on this side. So he goes right here, he got on the reverse uh, half guard, okay? But now he hugs my head, hugs my head. He's hugging my head here, putting a lot of pressure. First thing, don't let him tilt you this way, okay? Go back to, so first thing, try to tilt me, John. So I keep like strong here, okay? So now I'll bring my knees to my chest, underhook the leg and grab right here, okay, the collar. Once I grab the collar, I get the hook and keep strong, okay, right here. And now when I'm ready, I'll explode. So now I'll do a little faster, just like in the fight. So I'm here, look. I take the leg out, and I explode. And when I got on top, I'm here smashing. So I really like to go with my, my left knee and staple his leg here, so I can start going for uh, grabbing his head. And I can go straight to mount like this. And when I mount, his arm is between my legs, you see? Now look, the side that I have the arm inside, I put the knee close to his, to his head. And the hand that's under, look, I pull his head towards me. Now I go kind of like a S mount here. Grab my shin, change the knee, put the knee on the floor and figure four. Once I figure four, I start, start finishing him. Arm bar or pull the head to get the triangle. Okay, one more time. So I'm here, Jones is hugging my head like this. I grab, okay, bring my knee to my chest, grab here, control the collar, change the hook, see? Here, super heavy. Now, I'm gonna, at the same time that I'm sweeping him, I'm pulling this, okay? So I go here, I pull. Sometimes I'll be right here, it's okay too, right? So the only thing I need to be careful is, don't let your, your opponent roll that way, John. Roll, roll like, give, no, give the back, like this, okay? So, to prevent that, you gotta put the head right on his shoulder. Go, try to roll, John. So you keep like the head right here. And you gotta look towards him, okay? You put your nose right here. And he's left. And then he's left. So now you can let go, underhook the arm. Then you can start going to knee on belly, to mount. I like this double underhooks right here. 
okay, on the side control, it helped me to make transitions to mount. Really easy if I need, okay. Turn off. Like this, it's safer. Or if I like, I can start forcing to give them back to me afterwards and then I start attacking his back, okay. So this is like my favorite way to escape from that uh, reverse half guard when he's holding my hand, all right. Now just make sure you guys practice. Uh, do some specific training from those positions and I believe uh, you you get better and better and better. So you start like on that position, like you three minutes on bottom, three minutes on top. Every time you escape, you reset. Okay, do that as many times as you can, especially right now, because you don't have too much space to train. So maybe like the specific training is the best thing you can do, especially if there is small mats in your, in your house. All right, so improve like your, your the positions that you feel uncomfortable, right? And then start feeling more comfortable in those situations, top and bottom, all right? Let's practice. One, two, three.